Hey Osearch fans, we just got an update on the whereabouts of White Shark Ormond. Ormond is a 10 foot long subadult male that we tagged back in November of 2022. And we hadn't heard from Ormond's tag since this past March, but just recently we finally got another location for him, from his tag. And we now know he's up in Canada. He's about 12 miles off the coast of Cape Breton, Nova Scotia. And this is familiar territory for Ormond because if we look at his track over the last three years since we tagged him, he's visited Nova Scotia in each of the last three summers. So this is clearly the area that he wants to be during the summer fall foraging area. But overall, Ormond's tag has given us very infrequent pings. He's been what we would say not a very good pinger and for whatever reason that is. So in other words, we have lots of gaps in time and space between his pings. And it's hard to say exactly why that is, but it might be a case where Ormond is just a shark that doesn't come to the surface very often. The only way that we can get that satellite tag to transmit is when that fin mounted tag comes and breaks the surface of the water. Fortunately, we have another means of tracking white sharks like Ormond. In addition to the satellite tag, we also surgically implant an acoustic tag into white sharks. And the unique sonic code that's given off by these tags can be detected by any of the underwater receivers that are scattered all along the Atlantic coast. And I just compiled all the detections that have come from Ormond, and he's got more than 1,700 detections. And so if we take a look at where all these detections occurred, we can see that they are really quite scattered. If you look all along the Nova Scotia coast, he's been detected there, off the coast of Maine, lots of detections off the outer banks of the Carolinas. And then further south, he's detected all along the coast of Florida, including the Straits of Florida. He's been detected off the Florida Panhandle, and then even offshore near the Flower Garden Banks National Marine Sanctuary. And then most remarkably is his far west detection all the way to the other side of the Gulf uh, off of South Padre Island. So you can see that using more than one tag type on these white sharks gives us a much more complete picture on the pattern of their movements. So if you want to follow more ocean animals near real time, check out the free Global Shark Tracker app.